Arizona sun is so fucking. It's just intense. Oh, that's great. So imagine that now translating into the grapes. How oh, just that intensity. You live in the world with a lot of other people. And so that communication, that commerce um, is important. There's many things you can't do on your own. You have to kind of work with people. As an artist, you're responding to stimulus and you're observing, interpreting, and reporting. You have to do it for yourself, but you have to understand that there's a community around you. And that community around you, if they're inspired by your actions, and they can build on that. Whether it's writing songs or farming or cooking, all those things. You're setting up a legacy in that way. Merkin Vineyard, those three is meant to be that place where you gather and have food and that experience of sitting down across from somebody to have that, that uh, intimate experience with and the connection between the wine and the food. The same kind of connection or similar connection if you were to take a trip to Italy or Spain and actually have that vacation where you're walking more, drinking water more, drinking wine, you know, seeing friends, being outside, just that, that reaction, that community. What a lot of people don't know is that one of the most important components that the Italians really uh, like, the mills in Italy, are the Arizona, it's Arizona winter wheat, the hard, the hard wheat that comes in, a huge important component to that Italian, Italian flour is uh, Arizona wheat. So that's what we're using in the American Osteria breads and pastas is 100% uh, Arizona wheat. Rather than making Metallica or Slayer wines, we're actually we're making Pink Floyd wines. You're not going to get them in 15 seconds. It's going to take uh, a whole experience with friends, with food, time, investment, focus, presence, all those things. Sweet Jesus on fire, I'm a neighbor, day of glory, and a miracle to pull my ass out of this. Chris Smith, executive chef here at Merkin Vineyard Tasting Room in Osteria. I met Maynard about 10 years ago. Uh, well, I was a chef at the Asylum restaurant, and uh, we've just been going ever since then, you know. I always ask him, you know, why me? And he always tells me because he likes me. <laughs> Having Chris Smith as that artist and chef who is from here, wants to be here, and wants to express this place, that's important. I think mean, I could probably just throw some money at some chef from out of town and bring him in and have him do stuff, but that wouldn't be the same thing. The Christopher stores that almost like that general store vibe. You've got the vinyl, you've got the barber shop, you've got all the all the tchotchkes and music. Um, that's just kind of meant to be that fun spot, irreverent, little irreverent spot. It's a small town. There's you know, this population under 500 in Jerome. We're kind of setting up the sewing circle there. It's where you go to gossip and talk about stuff and connect with each other and no politics or religion, but you know, everything else is open game. Floyd Wineworks is meant to present uh, young, talented winemakers trying to get their start. So we can build an army of people who have different expressions for the different grapes around the state. This is an old bank. Uh, there was an old uh, historic bank robbery here where there's a pocket watch on display over here where you can see where the bullet uh, was stopped by the pocket watch when the guy lived. So a lot of the artwork you see on the walls, here are the photos. This is done by Masaki, a fantastic artist friend of ours. She kind of took some old photos and manipulated them to make it look like Floyd Wineworks has been around as long as the moon. So here we have uh, Abraham Lincoln uh, having a glass of uh, 4 8 red. <laughs> yeah, this 
gentleman here uh, is doing some laundry, and uh, as he's rearranging, he realized that he uncovered an old wall that had the original 4A Wine Works logo on it. That's where it came from in pre <laughs> post Civil War. I'm going to stop talking now. Oh, yeah, this gentleman here, uh, these guys have just got done uh, shooting other, some other human beings, and they're going to enjoy a glass of wine after. Pretty Valley Wine Festival is held right over in this park next to us, uh, featuring spirits, wine, beer, food, uh, local crafts. Um, David Baird runs that. He's part of the uh, Audi Wine Collective. And that's every, every year on Mother's Day weekend. So what we've done here with the Pussifer store, with the new and used vinyl, the barber for the, you know, the barber shop, um, all the stuff we do, the screen printing on the shirts there, with the Osteria, with all the handmade pastas and, and all the breads. We've set up a scenario where people have come in, they're just looking for a job. But hopefully by the time they leave, they've made a connection with the Arizona wheat, the Arizona grapes, the Arizona produce, um, you know, the, the interaction and the conversation with the barber. There's, there's commerce and communication happening that spirals out from there and hopefully we can build on that. <laughs>